you can access your classroom by going to the home screen and then clicking on the one that you want. And then you can add students by clicking on the student stream. There's two different ways to do this. You can invite students individually, uh, which means you can just type in their name, like if I typed in my name, those are all the people with McCormick and you can invite any of them. They'll get an email that'll be waiting for them when they log on to Classroom on that homepage with all the classes on it. Uh, but that one's gonna take a little while because you have to type in individual names instead. In the left-hand corner, you can use this class code uh, and you can actually change the class code if you don't like it. Uh, if it ends up like spelling a word, that's weird. Um, you can change it, you can reset it to have it be whatever code. Uh, it'll just randomly generate it, but it, you can make it over and over and over again. And then you can just give that code to students. So if you put them all into one room, uh, you send out an email, and then you have them click on the plus button to join code, they paste it in there, it'll, it'll join. It'll look like the two that I have that have me as the student in them and all those students will line up uh, on that student portion of the page. So you'll know who's in and who's not in. And then from the student page, you can also control who gets to post things on the stream. They can post comments, they can reply. Uh, you can mute individual kids once you have them in there. So if kids are uh, not using it properly and using the stream properly, you can mute them and give them permissions and take them away. And on the about page, you can just add a whole bunch of extra stuff into it uh, that you want to be informational. So you can add where the class meets, you can add what the class is for, you can view the classroom calendar, which automatically gets created for you for each one of your classes. And then you can also add materials if you are trying to make this kind of like a classroom hub, you might want to put a classroom syllabus on it. So you can just add classroom syllabus and you can go into your drive and you can access the syllabus that you have in there and you can upload it directly from that. And then that way that syllabus will constantly be updated, especially if it's a doc. Uh, if you wanted to, uh, let's just say, if you wanted to put up there a classroom website link, you could type in class website, you can click the little chain link button and take whatever it is the URL for a classroom site that you're using where you keep content and you can post that as a link on there as well. You can put YouTube videos, you can upload things from your computer, and then you can also invite teachers to be like a co-teacher. So there's an the ability to have more than one person in charge of a classroom. And at this point, you can invite pretty much as many as you want to be in charge of it. So you just type in their name and then invite them. And then it'll be over on their page. If they look at their home screen, it'll be there and they can accept that. And then over in the bottom right hand corner is the spot where you make a whole bunch of different decisions about what you want to do. So if you click the hover over the plus button, it gives you options. So in this one, we're going to talk about how you can ask questions. So you, with a question, you just type in a question, uh, whatever the question is. So what did you learn in class today, whether it be a formative assessment question or a question that you just want the whole class to answer uh, anyway, to have a discussion, you can set a due date. So if you want it to kind of be like a homework assignment, did you watch a video? Uh, and would, you could attach a video and have them watch it and answer the question. And then you could also tag it and have it be, uh, so if this was for class review, you, that way if they're looking for any class review assignments, they can just click that and all of those posts that are tagged with that will come up. It can be a short answer, it can be multiple choice. And the short answers kids would just type in. You could have it where they can see each other and respond to each other, that they can edit them or they can't respond or see each other. And then once again, you can upload a whole bunch of different stuff, whether it's from your computer or drive or YouTube or a link that you want them to go to, if you want them to view something first. Uh, and then the option that's really good about Google Classroom is if you have multiple versions of the same class, you can set things to go to multiple classes at the same time just by clicking off those classes. And then you can always save them as a draft. You can schedule it to be later, or you can just send it or add it now. So I'm just gonna add that now and it will populate onto the classroom stream. And you'll notice that it has a link to that document and that the uh, tags or the topic tags are now over on the left-hand side. So you can start making a whole bunch of them to help organize. You can see from here who's done it and not done it. There's no one in this class right now, so you can't really see that. And then you can always edit post, delete post, or if they get streamed on the stream, you can move them to the top. When you click on an assignment or an announcement or 
a question. It'll give you a little bit more details where you can see individual kids, uh, what they did, what they, who's done work, who hasn't done work. You can respond to work. You can add comments to the thing that you had posted. Uh, all of those things exist right from there.